And you have to think differently, I think, in terms of languages as network, where they meet on the, on the basis of equal give and take. And this is where translation comes, comes in. Translation can help in this uh, give and take uh, relationship between you know, uh, languages. So please, uh, I don't hate English language. It's a beautiful language. Uh, I like it that some of my books are in English, especially the ones we are translating to English. But I'm equally happy that some of my books are translated in Vietnamese, uh, are translated in French, are translated in Japanese, and, and, and Spanish, and so on. Okay, yeah. It's the relationship that I find hierarchy is what I fight against. And that's why some two years ago, I think, Los Angeles Review of Books called dubbed me <laughs> the language warrior. And now the term, the language has stuck <laughs> with me. Because when I was in Calcutta recently, they were asking me, please, Kogi, Professor Kogi, what does it mean to become a language, <laughs> a language warrior? <laughs> Yeah, uh, thank you so much for that. Um, I, I, you know, as your daughter, I feel a little sad that you ended on the note of calling me a slave, but I won't take it personally. I think how we want to understand this is there's room for all our languages, and all our languages are capable of being used creatively. We can use all of those languages creatively. I hope that there will be a day in this country when the policy towards language says not so much mother tongue. I personally have a problem with the notion of a mother tongue. I prefer to talk of a first language. But I long for the day when it will be possible for each child joining standard one to have the option of learning two or three Kenyan languages by the time they graduate primary school, and possibly formally learning a second or fourth African or Kenyan language by the time they graduate secondary school. I know that we have the resources to create a curriculum for second language speakers. You know, how wonderful it was to hear you teaching us the Luo, because it's possible to be a second and third and fourth language speaker. I know that we have the resources to create that curriculum. I know that we have the resources to, ha uh, to find the teachers to teach those languages so that we also as we move um, towards, um, or rather, as we develop devolved government, which very often is an ethnic corporation, but we make it an inclusive process. And it's really inclusivity that I think we are after. Uh, I think this is what we must promote so that before one another, the culture of the other is, is worthy. And I think that's a wonderful gift that you both give us, is the recognition that there is room for all of these languages. Um, none is greater than the other. Shall we finish on that note? And I ask you to shake hands because you managed not to fight. Oh. And that was beautiful. Yes. Well, but, but he promised the fight is coming afterwards. Uh, this is what he said. We shall not witness that duel. Thank you very, very much, St. Paul's. I'll now hand over to the organizers. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And don't forget your copy of Kedamo Yeru outside. Thank and Nairobi Heat. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Before you, you go, before you take back your seats, just uh, a moment, please. Uh, let's let's appreciate them one more time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to, at this point, welcome the vice chancellor to uh, gift our visitors uh, uh, before they leave the stage. Kindly. Thank you. As they bring that, um, I know there will be official uh, vote of thanks that would be given. But really, shall we together appreciate these two gentlemen and the lady for doing so well. Thank you so much. You know, Dr. Nyairo, I see you shaking hands with them. You did so well. I've never seen a woman actually managing two men in a dwell <laughs> as well as you have done. You've done so well, beautifully. And, you, 
And you made such a usually very tedious and hard task of moderating in any circumstances look so beautiful and so easy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Prof and Prof, thank you so much. I wish we could actually uh, allow me to borrow from um, my theology background to use the words of one Peter, put up three boots here for the three of you to just continue. And we continue sitting at your feet and just enjoying this feast of words and wisdom and the learning that we have continued to receive from you. This is amazing. Thank you so much. I know Mukoma has become part and parcel of this community. I hope we are in your heart as much as you are in our heart. Uh, you have become part of the community of heart, and in the very physical sense that you have been among us, you've been part of this. And we know this is just the beginning. But for Mze Nguki, Wadiongo, I hope we will come home more often, and I hope we will find a place on the top of the list of your chores as you, when you come home, St. Paul's University, that you will come and visit so that we can continue enjoying and be blessed of this wisdom that you give. Karibu nyumbani all the time. Na utukumbuke ukija nyumbani. And now, uh, a few things that we want to share as a token of appreciation. As a token of appreciation. You know, the duel, we know who won. We won't say, but we know who won, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, isn't it? And now, yeah, the <laughs> it's good, all that ends well. It's amazing, wonderful. The duel ending in peace. The handshake, you know, you saw the handshake. <laughs> amazing, wonderful. And this, don't read anything into this, in no any particular order. Let me invite Professor Mukoma first to come, <laughs> and uh, yes, to come and receive that. It has nothing to do with the who won the duel. Eh? Don't get so excited. There is, there is a saying in my mother tongue, I don't know how to translate this, I'm sure I may not get it right, but it says something roughly like this, that there is no day that the shoulder is able to overreach the head. Mm, uh, yeah? I have said it in my heart. So don't read too much into that. That doesn't mean who won. And I haven't said who is the shoulder and who is the head. Eh? <laughs> Let's begin with Professor Mkoma. Thank you so much. We are ever said so grateful. We want to give you this token of our appreciation that as you look at this, and, and uh, continue gracefully aging, you will remember SPU. No, you. Thank you so much. Can we? What a handsome fella. <laughs> yeah. A handshake for me. Thank you so much. God bless you. We really appreciate you. Well done. Thank you so much. And next. Yeah. Guess what? We don't give Nobel Prizes, but we do get the photo. Here we have one for Professor Ngugiwa Diongo. Please come and receive this. Dr. Nyairo, um, Joyce, can I? Sorry, we were not able to make an artistic impression. So uh, I'll request our guests to still remain uh, seated at that particular point. 
Uh, as the Dean, Faculty of Business, Communication Studies, and Computer Science prepares to come and give a vote of thanks, just one or two uh, announcements. First, I'd like to thank the media houses present here today, NTV, KBC, Y254, who've been hosting us live. Thank you very much. I also particularly want to thank Jacqueline Lidubui, who's the head of station Y254, and also an adjunct lecturer here at St. Paul's University. After this show, there's a youth show outside called The Bounce, so the youth don't go away, please. Welcome, uh, Dean. And meanwhile, you've been trending too on Twitter at number one. Thank you. Karibu, Dean. Did you all enjoy this event? So then, it's now time to thank all the key participants that were involved in this wonderful and historic event. And we shall start from where, the way we started. We know we started with the pudding, eh? We want to thank St. Paul's Choir. They did a wonderful performance. Let us clap and appreciate them. <laughs> then we had our St. Paul's Primary School. The girls and boys. Then we had St. Paul's University drama team. Wow, they, were, they did a marvelous job. And then, the, the main meal, where we had the duel on the, on the ridges. I remember the planning team. In fact, we need to thank the planning team. Who are doing? Who did a lot of work? You no know, burning sleepless, sleepless nights, spending sleepless nights preparing for this. Okay, I believe they did a good job. A hands up, clap for them. <laughs> you know when they were, we were thinking about the theme and all that goes with this. We were like the, we were like the two blind men who are born blind, and they they were told to describe an elephant, you know, they just touch the elephant, you know. They describe the elephant based on where they touched. So, that's how the planning, we were just struggling. But we said, let, it leave, let us leave the thing the way it is. And I believe all of us have something to take with us. Yes, so if you think we've come to the end of this, you're mistaken. The Bounce crew is right here next to us. They're about to start a party right around here. I go by the name of Barry Mosses or It's Barry Moore on every social media platform. And yes, uh, we have come to the end of the Q&A and uh, we have got a lot of insight from these guys. Really, really smart Kenyans. And uh, what I left with is your mother tongue should be your first language. I'm here with the secretary of the student union at St. Paul's University, and she's going to be sharing it. Uh, what she got from this event with us. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, maybe you can introduce yourself. My name is Maureen Gatweri, currently serving as the SPUSA Secretary Limuru Campus, by the grace of God. Thank you. All right. First, I'd like to say thank you for hosting us. Uh, Limuru is a beautiful place, and uh, we are loving it so far. So what did you get from this conversation? What stood out for you? What stood out for me is that we should embrace our culture. We should not be enslaved to the Western culture. And we should also um, feel part and get to learn at least three uh, those uh, indigenous languages. And even if it's Kikuyu, Meru, Luo, Luya, we all need to learn and embrace them and feel as if you're part of them. Yeah. All right. So do you think, uh, one last question, do you think language is going to unify this country? Language is as the power to unify this country, considering we've always had Swahili as the national language, uh, but we'll still see the same events occurring every five years. Yes, it will. Because if you get to learn uh, one language, you get to learn another language, you get even to learn their cultures, their way of life, their, um, how can I put it, what uh, that is traditional African society. If you get to learn what they do and you understand them, you get to learn how they are and you know how to interact with them and it's all the do's and the don'ts. All right. Thank you very much for inviting us and having us at St. Paul. Uh, tell us something that is special about St. Paul that people don't know. Represent for your school. At St. Paul's, uh, we have the best. Um, we have the best like students. Uh -huh. 
uh, it's our university. The environment is also very conducive for learning, I see. Yes, uh -huh. and it's a Christian university. Uh -huh. We are not saying that you are so much into religious, uh -huh. but as well you have other, um, how can I put it? We have also other religions like uh -huh. Muslims and also from other countries. Uh -huh. We also have exchange programs uh -huh. from other countries. Uh -huh. You can come and learn here at St. Paul's. Right. And as well as, you, not only we also nurture your skills, uh -huh. like the drama club, you're seeing their performances, uh -huh. you, uh, and so many other things. Right. Yes. Thank you very much, Madam Secretary. We appreciate you. I know you are still on duty. You can go back and uh, give your last speech as we wrap this up. Thank you very much, Madam Secretary. All right. Oh, yes. So uh, we have Masai KTA, who is our social media guru. He hands everything on social media. If you've been on our Twitter, you'll always see that sign like this with K T A. We call him K T A, but uh, how do we pronounce your name? Uh, it's Kta. Kta. Yeah, actually that's my real name, so it's Kta. Kta. Yeah. All right, Masai, did you enjoy yourself today? I did actually. Uh, in, as a matter of fact, I listened to the whole conversation. All right, before we talk about the conversation, did we make it to number one trending on Twitter? We did trend. We were actually at number two trending. Uh -huh. We had two hashtags trending, uh -huh. and that was a good deal. Uh -huh. So Kenyans are mad about literature. All right. Yeah. So uh, what can you tell the... Please share with the people uh, the hashtags. So we had one hashtag, hashtag uh, Googies on Y254 at St. Paul's University, that SPU. Uh -huh. That was as number two. Uh -huh. Guys really interacted. I love the jokes. Uh -huh. I love the seriousness also. Uh -huh. And then we also had Googies at SPU live. Uh -huh. Googie's SPU Live. Thank you very much for the Y254 family for making us trend. Y254 family, we appreciate you so much. Thank you very much for jumping on the hashtag. And thank you very much uh, for uh, giving your feedback or sending your feedback our way, which Masai is about to sample right now. Uh -huh. So we had a uh, couple of tweeters. Uh -huh. I'll call them twips who are really active on social media. Mm -hmm. We have Oscar Jr. Uh -huh. We have Kimani Njogu. I think Kimani Njogu is a student at St. Paul's. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Kimani? Thank you for pushing Shout the tweet. <laughs> we have Courtney Philip, of course. Courtney Philip always representing for white people. Evans Paparazzi. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have Pusum Safi, uh -huh. Kiki Jombugwa, uh -huh. Furaham Nith. The guys were a lot. Uh -huh. Yeah. So there are so many people who really represented uh, for the hashtag and jumped on the hashtag. Uh, but what I'd like to get from you, Masai, uh, what did you get from the Q&A? Uh, Basically, I learned that literature is not boring. Uh -huh. Literature is fun, whether it's on online or whether it's on print. Uh -huh. It's still fun. The content is the same. The content is the same. And I like the fact that Ngugi wa Vyongo, uh -huh. even if he's old, an old man, uh -huh. he has very good jokes that we can relate to. All right, so about the big fight. Mm -hmm. Who impressed you on the big fight? Who won for you? Who carried the day for you? <laughs> Mukoma is good. Uh -huh. uh, he has very big words. Uh -huh. Uh, but Ngugi simplified the words for us. Ngugi was kind of soft. He made them more palatable. He was cheeky. Uh -huh. He invited a guy on stage, uh -huh. used someone as a prop. Uh -huh. That was really smart, Ngugi. Really, well, was smart move from Ngugi. All right, how can people find you on social media, Masai? Uh, people can find Y254 channel on Twitter, uh -huh. Y254 on Facebook, uh -huh. on Instagram, Y254 underscore channel. Uh -huh. If you want to do me personally, Masai KTA. Yes, you must say said it. That is, that is our social media guru. And uh, yes, as I told you, we have come to the end of the Q&A, but the party is just getting started. People are walking out of the main hall, coming to the station where the bounce team is situated. So we are about to turn up with Callum Eval and DJ Kingsley. I go by the name of Barry Moses or It's Barry Moe on every social media platform. Let's turn up. It's Kelpie yeah. Yeah. Sound it.